Anyway, I'm about to knock your socks off with this one. Bolo! Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, vlog time. We are going to ship packages. Whoop, whoop. And I'm going to have on three different shirts, maybe four. I don't know. Um, this is probably over two or three days. I've just been kind of recording as I pull packages. And vlogging just may not be my thing. The video is over an hour. Oh, my goodness. I cannot make you guys watch for a whole hour. So I'm going to split this in half. I'm going to release part of it now, and then the other half is going to release later today. So make sure you have that bell on so that you know when I release it and stay tuned. Don't know when I'm going to use them and where I'm going to use them and all of that good stuff, but I am going to show you some plush. Um, a viewer reached out to me about um, some plush that she had, and she needed it gone the next day. So she knew that I lived near her. So she asked me if I would come and pick it up. And I was like, ah, I figured it out. I went the next day and I picked up eight huge bags of plush. Um, I think we're going to do one bag in this video and mix it up with some what solds to keep this educational. I'm going to show you what I got, what's sold so far and how I listed everything. So let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, you see this hat? Check it out. It's like minty, minty vintage. I told my husband to be on the lookout for vintage hats. <laughs> and he brought this one home. And he, we've had it listed for a little bit. I started it on eBay, cross-posted it to Mercari and Poshmark. And it just sold on Mercari for $124 free shipping. Um, I think he got it at a flea market. I have no idea what he paid for it. I didn't ask. I just listed it for him. And I messaged him today and I'm like, do you want to accept this offer? And he's like, yeah. So super exciting sale for the husband, Bolo. Here is the inner tag. Not something I'm super familiar with. Um, and it just says made in the USA here on the back. So super, 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 whoa. Whoa cool hat right there all right bolo buddies i also sold this this is a super shooter and these used to go for crazy money and i just sold this for a best offer of 35 dollars. i may have undersold it but the box is not in great condition and i just decided to take the offer i'm gonna pull up some solds and see if i undersold it but I got this really, really cheap. I want to say I paid a buck or two for it at like an estate sale. I believe it was in the closet of an estate sale just sitting there. And I'm like, oh, and then um, the prices have gone down a little bit, but still something to be on the lookout for if you can get it for the right price. It is a super shooter electric cookie. Um, I don't know that word. Candy maker. It's candy maker. And it's got all the little patterns there. So nice little bolo. Used to be a bigger bolo or maybe I undersold it. So let's look at some comps. All right, guys, if you can get them brand new in the packaging, definitely, definitely, definitely big money. But let's look at the pre-owned and see what they're going for. All right, pre-owned, 73.98, looks like two of them there. So yeah, prices have definitely gone down. I probably could have gotten a little more because that one went for $59.99, pre-owned no box or book and sold for 60 and I just sold mine for 35, but that's okay. Um, I'm happy to move it and be on the lookout for this super shooter. You see those lights up there? I bought them and I keep saying I'm gonna like use them and dim the lights and have it like glow around me <laughs> and they're just still sitting there. Anyway, I'm about to knock your socks off with this one. This is vintage white thread. Um, it is, uh, it's called something here, Coats T9. 
750 yards on each one. And it's a nice little bundle. I got this at an estate sale clean out. And it says dual duty plus hand quilting. So I sold all of this for $48 plus shipping. Buyers all in for like over 50 bucks for some thread. So nice little bolo I didn't know about until I looked it up and decided to just bundle it and sell it. So be on the lookout. Okay, so while we're talking about quilting supplies, I sold this. It's some sort of like... Easy Circle Cut, Sharon Holtgren. And I've been doing pretty good with these patterns. Um, sold this one for $14.30. It sold pretty quickly. And the buyer was uh, paid the tax and the shipping on that. So all in, oh, I want to say it was in the $29 range. So I'm not sure if this was a priority mail, if they upgraded it, if they're trying to get it quick before Christmas. But um, Definitely something to be on the lookout for. You can usually pick these up for a decent price at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales, stuff like that. Uh, this one came from an estate clean out. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, I'm just gonna pull them out one by one and we're gonna take a look at the plush, the brands, and see what we have. So what a awesome gift this was. What a blessing. Um, so appreciative. This is a Charlotte Grace Progressive Plush from 2016 never heard of that so I will get these listed and definitely going to pop up some screen shares and stuff for you guys on um, these let me uh, get a towel here the eye on this one has a scratch I'm not sure if that'll come off or not um, I do have a cleaning paste that I use and I may or may not be able to get that off but this is a I think it's a beanie boo yeah, it's a Thai Beanie Boo. And some of the Beanie Boos with the big sparkly eyes can do pretty well. But um, I don't know. We'll have to see if we can get that out. All right, these right here are plus size. Well, they're not really plus size. They're a size 1X. Men's 1X. Um, 1X tall. That's why they're plus size. They're not even plus size. They're big and tall. 1X tall. I like to pick up big and tall items, um, especially when I used to sell clothing. I picked up a whole bunch of these. Um, still have some orange left. They're Maui and Sons. They are swim trunks. And they're for tall guys, guys with long legs. And these are fantastic. So if you like them, I've got orange available in my store. These sold on Poshmark for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. And my cost of goods, I think was around three bucks for these. Okay, so I did a video not too long ago. It looks like this. It was on auctions for you and Donatella Bottolino. They have YouTube uh, auctions and selling events on their channels and they sell to resellers. And I did a video on bolos that people have bought from them and sold on selling platforms. Oh my goodness. You guys want to see an awesome what sold video? Check it out. It's amazing. But anyway, I had a lot of questions about how do you register? How do I go and buy? So here is a kind of short clip from Donatella Bottolino explaining it. To be working on a video, can you tell people how to register and how to bid once they register? Okay. All right. So I got I to gotta look pretty. I'm going to be on camera. <laughs> Courtney's going to be recording me. She's going to use it in one of her videos, which is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Courtney. <laughs> Vintage Chick, I think you've been suggesting that for a long time. I, I think that um, I'm Donna, I got an early morning text from Courtney wanting to know about that lion's head necklace I got from you. She seems as excited as I am. Oh my goodness gracious. I was telling my husband about it tonight and he's like, he said to me, he goes, why didn't you look it up? I'm like, are you kidding me? Thousands of pieces of vintage jewelry. I'm like, I can't look things up. <laughs> Yes, and Courtney is the channel ambassador, no swearing at the auction. She's just All taking right. her time. You guys are awesome for coming in. All right, I'm going to wait for Courtney to get set up and then I'm going to tell you. Oh my goodness, she has no idea. I'm sitting here recording. Um, last night I did. Oh, she's ready. Okay. 
All right. So do you want me to like go into it and say like, hi, welcome to my auction. And do you want me to like do all that? It sold today. What did you sell? <laughs> Let us know. Let us know. All right. I'm just going to do it natural, Courtney, as natural as I can be knowing that I'm being recorded. <laughs> I can go live. No problem. But once, once you tell me that you're recording me, I get a little bit like, Oh, the Juicy Couture purse, you sold it already? Holy cow, that was so beautiful. I thought you said you were gonna keep it. Okay, ready? Okay, Courtney, I'm gonna go. All right, hi guys, it's, all right, wait, hold on, Courtney, ready? <laughs> all right, wait, on the count of three, Courtney, and then you can do record, ready? All right, one, two, and guys, don't say anything in the chat that's gonna make me like mess up because I'm already like confused as to what I'm going to say. All right, ready? Ready, Courtney? One, two, three. Hi, everybody. Hold on, Courtney. Hold on, hold on. Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. Sorry, Courtney. I had to do that. Christopher, Christopher, don't say anything. Don't say anything, Christopher. Christopher, you're not allowed to type anything in the chat while I'm doing this. I'm not even going to look at the chat. And I don't know what this is. What is this? It's like, it's like a wing. <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm, a, I'm like the flying nun, you guys, with the wing. <laughs> All right, ready? Shh. Don't anybody say anything. All right, ready? Quiet on the set. Ready, Courtney? One two, three. Hi, everybody. It's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. So we are going to be doing a couple of different auction styles tonight. Our first auction style is going to be, we are going to be doing a 15 second countdown, which means I'm going to be showing you a product. I'm going to be describing the product. I'll be So if you haven't yet registered, the link is at the top. It's also in my description and just fill out the registration. And this is not automatic. You need to come to one of our auctions and just say in the chat that you are registered. We'll look at your registration and we'll give you a wrench. The wrench only gives you the power to bid. That's it. No modding duties and no other responsibilities. When you are wrenched on my channel, you are also wrenched with my auction partner, Auctions For You, who's also linked in the description down below. And we go on almost every day. And thank you so much for coming to the auction. And we will see you live. All right, we are at tote 45. And I have this here dinosaur postcard book, the dinosaur postcard book. I've already got it bubble wrapped. I love it when I do things like this. Sometimes I will pre-wrap things so that they are almost ready to go. I'll probably slap a little more bubble wrap on this, or I'm going to put this between two pieces of cardboard. That's probably what I'll do. But, um, you know, it just saves me time when the things are partially ready to ship. So that's a little tip, but you got to figure out what's inside the, the little package, you know, like, what is this? So, Little uh, Bola Buddies tip for you. Tip of the day. Okay, so this is my little corner of Toys R Us stuff that uh, still hasn't sold. And you guys know when Toys R Us went out of business, so we won't talk about that. Um, anyway, this item right here is absolutely a really cool find. Really unexpected. I picked it up. I wasn't even really sure at first what it was. I just knew that it looked old. And of course, I've already got it wrapped. So I'm going to pop up a screen share for you guys, but I got this at the Goodwill bins. Can anybody guess what it is? Screenshot coming soon. And I think I sold this for $52. It weighs like nothing. So it was probably less than a dollar at the Goodwill bins. Again, really excited that these two items are partially packaged and ready to go. Okay, you guys want to hear something crazy? The hat that sold for $124. I'm not shipping it priority mail. I'm going to ship it first class because I have had a priority mail claim that did not go through. I had to fight it for months upon months upon months until I got my money back. So I feel more comfortable shipping this first class 
with insurance from pirate ship. So that is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I just bubble wrap this hat. I mean, it's $124, right? I have to protect it. Now I got to find a box to put it in. Um, vintage hats. Wow. They can just be such a big money bolo. Love it. I'm so excited for my husband. All right. So I got this here box. It's a little wide, but it, you can see right here, it comes up to the line. It fits like perfectly and it's a hat, so it can squish down a little, but this is going to close. And if they open it, it's not going to hit anything. I am going to put a piece of, um, another piece of cardboard right here across the bottom. I'll show you what I'm going to do because I don't want somebody cutting into this box with a sharp device and slicing this hat open, okay? Because people do this. And they will say, my item arrived damaged. Bolo Buddies tip number two. Protect your item. There we go. Cardboard, I put the tape both ways. That way it stays in place. All right, I decided I had another piece of cardboard, so I'm just gonna put it on the top also. I know that it's nowhere near the hat, but just to be safe, you can see what I'm saying. If somebody takes like a razor blade or something, just in case it gets shifted around in there. And yes, if you saw this, I know this is horrible. It's broken. I have other ones, but I'm obsessed in this one. So I just keep taping it together because I love this one. It's got this soft grip on it and my other ones have a hard grip and I hate it. And this is my favorite one. I've probably had this 10 years. Look at it, it's wobbly. Oh my goodness, it's so bad, but I love it. I need to find another one with a really soft, nice grip like this. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so I have free shipping on this because it is Mercari, and I typically do free shipping on Mercari, and then I use Pirate Ship. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, it's absolutely fantastic. And I have a link down below. If you use that to join Mercari, you're going to get $10 um, off your first purchase, and then if you list and sell $100 worth of stuff, once $100 sells, you're going to get, I believe, another $20 to shop. So $30 bonus from using my referral link down below when you join Mercari. So um, what I did is I put the dimensions in. It only weighs eight ounces, so I can ship this first class. I am going to insure the package. It is $124. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click Get Rates. Okay, so to ship this item first class, it is going to be $3.79. There's a holiday increase of a quarter. And to insure $124 on Mercari is $1.60. I'm going to tell you on eBay, the shipping um, insurance rates are way, way higher for first class. So you definitely want to um, use pirate ship when you are shipping first class items and using, um, and you need insurance, okay? You can also use this for priority mail. So let's say you have a $500 item. What you would do is it's automatically insured. Oh, sorry, that's really out of focus. There we go. Um, let's say you have a $500 item. You would take that $500 and 100 of it's gonna be covered. So technically you're only insuring, uh, what, 400? And it's just going to add the insurance in the same spot. And you're going to see it over here based on the priority mail package. So on eBay, if I have an item that's over $100, I do the same thing. I come over to Pirate Ship and I ship from here and I add my priority mail insurance through Pirate Ship. So after that, I am going to copy the confirmation tracking number. And I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to hit confirm shipment. It's going to have me put it in. Now, Mercari is different. eBay and Etsy, you can actually connect them to pirate ships. So it will just do it on its own. But Mercari, you have to go in and cut and paste. So let's look at the fees on this hat, okay? It sold for $124. The selling fee was $12.40. The processing fee was $4.10. So um, my husband is going to get $107.50. They also uh, took out the sales tax for us, and they will submit that on our behalf, which was $7.44. So we don't even have to mess with that, which is fantastic. 
and the shipping was less than six dollars so my husband is gonna get just over a hundred dollars profit for this hat minus his cost of goods which i'm guessing probably wasn't very much Okay, these already went out today, but I wanted to show you this super awesome sale. These were cross-posted from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. Sold faster on Mercari. I use this perfectly to cross-post. I start my items on eBay and then cross-post to the other two platforms. If you have not checked out lists perfectly, definitely check it out. For reasons just like this, I sold these for $49. Um, free shipping. But uh, these are Blaze and the Monster Machine Slam and Go Monster Trucks. They are incredible. I believe I picked these up at the Goodwill Bins, if I remember if I remember correctly. So $1.89 a pound there at my Goodwill Bins. And I have a video down in the description that will show you how to use this perfectly. And if you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLABUDDIES, all one word to get 30% off your first month. You are gonna love it. Get more eyes on your items. Seriously, guys, it's incredible. Uh, let me go over to eBay and see what I had them listed for over there. Okay, I'm over here on my eBay page on my unsold listings, and you can see right here, I had it on eBay for $32.50 plus shipping. So definitely made more on Mercari for this item, even with the free shipping over on Mercari. So definitely cross-posting is a great idea. I do kind of tweak my prices because of the different platform fees and the different, different shipping costs. Like I do free shipping usually on Mercari. Poshmark has higher fees. So there's different reasons why I price my items for in different ways. So if you're looking at one of my items, check all three platforms because you may get a better deal on a certain platform. You just never know. Okay, here's another fun fact. Uh, the shorts that sold for $19 on uh, Poshmark, I had them listed on eBay for $10.39. So, uh, that's cool. Uh, the hat that sold for $124 on Mercari was listed at $115 on eBay. So, that was pretty comparable because um, Mercari's free shipping, eBay is not. Uh, so, yeah, pretty cool, right? All right, you guys, here is this, uh, I guess it's a a grip of some sort <laughs> i don't know i just picked it up because it looked cool again right there got it at the goodwill bins so probably a dollar or less for this sold it for 52 dollars plus shipping you can see i do a lot of pictures i want to show the condition really really important i used photo room to white out my background if you guys are interested in photo room i do have a link down below if you sign up for the year you get 10 percent off with my link down there it is a referral link but you do get that 10 percent off the year okay so you can check that out in the description so this one is another first class package that is 52 dollars. so i'm going to do the same concept and go over to pirate ship and i'm going to ship this item with insurance through pirate ship Okay, I know I sound like a broken record. This item is $52. To ship it with ship and ins ship cover insurance on eBay is $1.70. With USPS insurance, it's $3.35 to insure this $52 package. Over on Pirate Ship, insurance on a $52 package is $0.80. Cents. Look how much cheaper. Pirate Ship is free, you guys. Use it. It is a great, 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 great resource. It's free. All right, so I'm watching Donatella Bottolino right now, and she's showing all these amazing, like, postcards or whatever they are. Everybody look at this picture. Who does that man look like? Who does he look like? Who does he resemble? If anybody knows, drop it in the comments. I said who I thought he looked like in the chat, and somebody agreed with me. So I don't think I'm wrong. But anyway... Let me know. These pictures are incredible. This is Donatella Bottolino's auction. Again, I'm shipping and uh, just have it on in the background and was watching this part. Look at that face. Who is it, guys? Who's it look like? Just a resemblance. Not like exact. Just a resemblance. Okay, we are heading over to Tote FF. It's one of these. Oh, is it that one? Is it that one? It's that one. All right, we're looking for a Build-A-Bear. Oh, I think I see it. It's blue. There it is. And it sold, oh goodness, 
on um, Mercari for $22. I just want to say, look at the cuteness. Look at its little feet. So cute. All right, so it does have the plastic eyes, so I'm going to cover those, and then I'm going to pop this in a poly mailer. Okay, I have these, uh, they're bells, and uh, I'll pop up a screenshot, but I just sold these, and you guys, this eBay box, they fit perfect. That is the absolute best, is when you have the perfect box for your item. I sold these on auction for $75.95. The buyer was all in for $97.89, and I can't remember, but I'm thinking these may have come out of a thrift store mystery box, but not 100% sure, because I didn't mark it. But anyway, great sale, super excited. Um, I tested them. They do work. If you want to see how these work, there's a video over on my Reseller Testing Bolo Products YouTube channel. Oh, this is a, um, goes on your hand. Not really a puppet, but it's Dale Jr. NASCAR, and it says Hendrick Motorsports. So what's nice about getting plush that you didn't source yourself is you learn a lot. Um, super educational. This one, the tag is ripped off. I don't know if that's a TY or not. I'll have to use Google Lens on that one. Uh, here's a little puppy dog, um, like carry purse. This one is made by... I don't know. doesn't say. Oh, it looks like that one might be broke. Bummer. Okay, so that one we'll just donate, but that's okay. This here is an Aurora. It's a little uh, cheetah. Whoa, what is, what's this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, is that, who's this fish? Um, oh, I don't know who it is. Can't remember. This is made by Carousel Toys. It's not Nemo, right? Nemo's, is Nemo blue? I don't know, but I think you could probably like wrap this around your arm and then carry it. So that's kind of cute. I'll have to look it up. I cannot think of who that is. I feel like I should definitely know that. And then we have this one, which is a Kelly toy. I may lot some of these small ones up. This one is, don't know, no brand. Okay. Fenton Angels. It said in my SKU Walmart box. So that really helped me find these angels. They're already boxed. So I'm going to pop up a screenshot for you. Definitely a bolo. These came out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold them for $75. The buyer was all in for $91.38 for these beauties. Okay, craft tote three. Now this was a craft kit and it was in the original box but I was not sure if it was complete so um I think it's in here if I remember correctly it is a yeah it's a Bucilla rug sunflower kit and I just disclosed that I don't know if it's complete I'm gonna show you guys the pictures right now so this is another one that's just ready to go. I'm going to slap a label on it. I might tape this in just to make it a little more uh, tight and put a piece of tape around it. But overall, that's how it's getting shipped. All right, we are going in here to Craft Tote 2, which I think is up here. Ah, can I see inside? Okay, so what I'm looking for is another pattern. Um, it's a pattern for quilting. We got stuff falling everywhere. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to find it. All right, I found it here. And it is a perfect half square, quarter square triangles by Taylor J. Ta or let's see, June Taylor. And this is what it looks like. It's something for quilting. This sold for $40 plus shipping. And I got this at an estate clean out. So I've got, it was like I bought it all and there was one price. So I can't really tell you exactly what I paid for it, but it wasn't much. All right, this one's going priority mail. I did put a, a thing of bubble wrap around it just to protect it because it is going to be a little bit loose in here. Uh, they're all in for $55.40. Again, 
usps.com you can get these free definitely utilize that you guys it's great as far as the boxes go they have a bunch of different sizes um definitely go to the website and you can search priority mail boxes they also have flat rate boxes these are all free super easy they will deliver them to your door you can also check with the post office sometimes they have some in stock if you just need some quick next time you run into the post office you can ask them and they'll give you some but uh definitely usps.com is probably the best and quickest way they don't take too long to arrive but get your orders then especially since it's uh you know getting close to christmas Okay, Bola Buddies, I just sold ALF. ALF for $37.19 plus shipping. And you want to know what? I sold it to a zero feedback buyer. So a lot of you guys say, oh, they have zero feedback. They're not going to pay. Or should I block zero feedback buyers? Because there's a way to do that. I say no, because I sell to zero feedback buyers all the time, all the time. And most of the time they pay. Now I'm not going to say they pay every time, but there's also people with over a thousand feedback that sometimes don't pay. So I let everybody buy for me. I give everybody a chance. Uh, I typically do not block people unless they become a major issue. And then I will go in and block. So that is a Bola Buddies tip. Okay. People with zero feedback do sometimes, most of the time, pay. We're looking for tote 16. Where is tote 16? Here's tote 16. Of course, it's got my jewelry on top. So let's hunker that down. I don't know why it says tote 16. I can't. It's weird that I put a plush in a hard goods. So you know what that means? I probably messed up again. Okay, so I imagine I put it in one of these plush totes here. So I'm going to start looking, but I know that I sold this guy on Mercari. So I can go ahead and pull that out. And then I'm just going to kind of look through all of my plush totes and see if I can find out. And hopefully I'm going to report back and say that I found him very quickly. So stay tuned. I forgot to tell you, he sold for $18 free shipping on Mercari. And I forget what he's from. I'll pop up a screen share. Uh, but it's Tumi or Tommy, T-O-M-Y is the brand. Do you see what I see? It's Alf. It's Alf. Right here he is. He's just hanging out. I found him. That wasn't too bad. I knew he was with my plush. All right. I'm leaving Alf in the bag. He's going in my favorite box, the shoe box. Oh, I think I just pop the bag that's okay Ugh. there he is ready to go bam get these stickers with my free money from having a store and i'm gonna put that right there on top so when they open it up it says thank you for supporting my small business ebay alf i paid four dollars at a garage sale i almost forgot to tell you this is a different style for me so i'm getting used to it I'm getting used to the vlog so back to this guy Look, he has water in his eyes. I did not know that. So watch. I look like a lot of people. Hold on. I go in here all the time. It's a shortcut, you see? Look at my hat. How am I supposed to wear this? He talks. Okay, so I kind of messed up on this one. I thought that I was going to be able to ship this first class, but because it was... 15 point, uh, I don't know, some ounces, it falls into the one pound on pirate ship. So I had to ship a priority mail. It was almost $10. So when you subtract my 15, 18 minus my 10 bucks, I made about five bucks on this. Thankfully, I think I only paid about 50 cents for this. So still going to profit, but not what I had hoped. So just going to let you know that was a Bolo Buddies fail. All right, Bolo Buddies, that was part one. Part two will be coming later today. Lots more Bolos to share with you guys. I'm going to finish unbagging the plush, so uh, definitely stay tuned 
for that coming later today. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to subscribe.